Hello friends, in this video we are going to remove the fuel pump, its stop switch is faulty and not shutting off the engine. Here you can see that we have removed the intake pipe of fuel pump to stop the engine. This is 10 and 9 fuel pump installed on John Deere 6 cylinder engine. To remove this fuel pump without disturbing its timing, we have to lock the fuel pump. First, we have to remove the front plate. and all the fuel pipes. This is the front plate where the lock nut and fuel pump gear is available. Here inside you can see this is the lock nut of the fuel pump which is holding the pump inside the timing gear. This nut we are removing right now is used to lock the fuel pump so that the timing of the engine is not disturbed. These are the three nuts holding the pump with the body from back side. This nut is tied in the timing gear of fuel pump the shaft of fuel pump. Remember not to disturb the quarter of the fuel pump. Now we are going to insert this socket inside the hole upper side of the fuel pump to lock the fuel pump timing gear. This will keep the gear in its place and the timing of the engine won't be disturbed. There you can see inside that hole 13 number socket we have inserted in there. Installed the lock nut back in its place. Now we are going to remove the fuel pump. On the timing gear, you can see the two bolts are for pulling purpose, one bolt is broken inside the threads of the timing gear. Here you can see that with the help of these two bolts you can remove the pump quite comfortably but the bolts are broken so we have to use the hammer. There you can see again the broken bolt. The lower side bolt is okay. Threads of the lower side bolt is okay but the upper side threads are damaged and the bolt is broken inside. We have removed the pump with the help of a hammer. And now it's almost free. No 
now the pump is removed and we are going to repair its stop switch in the lab and then we will go to install it back there. Thanks for watching the video.